the Crafty Girls. Yes. Today we are making DIY kinetic sand. This kinetic sand is sensational. Sand, that's no lie. <laughs> we tested this recipe so many different ways. So here's what we've learned. We've tested it with cornstarch, baking powder, foaming hand soap, and all of those pretty much failed. The one with baby oil and water was decent. We'll show you that one later. But the best recipe by far was jiggly slime and shaving cream. It makes a super cool kinetic sand, almost like the one at the store you can buy. Before we get on to the video, remember to hit that subscribe button and click the thumbs up. Now on to the video. For this craft, you will need PVA glue, saline solution, baking soda, shaving cream, and sand. Let's get started. You can use any kind of sand for this recipe. We bought these pretty Ashling colored sands at Michael's. And as you can see, we used all of them up testing. A lot of this ended up in the trash. If you use beach sand or playground sand, make sure you sift it out so you're left with only the fine sand. And it should work just the same. First thing we're gonna do is pour a small amount of glue into the bowl. About a tablespoon. A pinch of baking soda. Add about as much shaving cream as you added glue. Now we're gonna add our saline solution. Drip a few drops in, do not squirt this. Make sure you see boric acid or sodium borate in the ingredients. Or look for the words buffered solution somewhere on the bottle. You can also use borax solution instead of baking soda and saline if you prefer. Just mix a teaspoon of borax powder into a cup of warm water. We're going to add some water about the same amount as the glue you added. So now I've got this cool, jiggly, fluffy slime. It doesn't stick to the bowl, but it will stick to your fingers. And that's the way we want it. Now we're gonna start adding our sand. It will take quite a bit. We're going to keep adding sand and kneading the mixture until we get the consistency we want. As long as it's sticking to your hands, you're gonna keep adding sand. But we're getting there. It isn't sticking to my hands anymore. This kinetic sand is ready. This has the coolest texture. It's not slime, but it has a little bit of a stretch to it. You can shape it and it'll stay exactly the way you put it, but it's totally soft. This makes me think of a gritty butter slime. If you make this, you have to spread it with a knife. It is so cool. Doesn't this look so neat? This is almost relaxing. This is such a different slime, you guys. You really have to try it. This is the version where you don't use shaving cream and you don't make jiggly slime. When you squeeze them, you feel a total difference. This recipe was definitely closest to the kinetic sand in the store. It's cool because it's super soft and it has a little bit of stretch and you can cut it apart. You can cut it apart. It is so cool, you really have to try it. We hope you liked this video. We had a lot of fun making this. And we hope you give it a shot. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Annalise. I'm Rachel. We love you guys.